Let's take a look at how we can use the Coefficient app to push data updates back to Salesforce. First, let's launch the Coefficient app from the Extensions menu at the top of the ribbon. Click Extensions, Coefficient, Launch. Let's say we want to update the lead source on all of our opportunities. Select Import from, Salesforce, Objects and Fields, and select Opportunity. Click Next, select Fields, and add your desired object fields to the import. When you're done selecting fields, click Done Selecting Fields, add any filters or sorting, or limit rows. I'll limit to just the first 10. Name your import, and click Import. You'll notice that the lead source is blank, which is why I want to update these opportunities using Coefficient. To push changes made on the sheet back to Salesforce, configure your export to Salesforce in the Coefficient app. Go to the Coefficient sidebar and click Configure under the Export to Salesforce card title. Choose where your source data is located. In this case, I have my source data in my Salesforce Opportunities tab and my header row is row two. Click Next. Now choose your destination. I will be updating the opportunity object type, so select the object type opportunity and select the action, update. This will update data for existing records. Click next. Now you'll need to map the fields. Coefficient is smart enough to attempt to map these for you, but it's always good to go through this and double check that everything is correct. My opportunity IDs match up, my names are correct, the amount matches up with the amount, and my lead source is my lead source and they are in the correct columns. Click Next. Now I'm going to actually make the changes that I want to make to these opportunities. So I want to designate these opportunities lead source as web, so I will just type web here. And I'll make the same change for all the records. And now that I'm ready to push my changes to Salesforce, I will click Export, and this is where I can select the rows I want to export to Salesforce. Click Export. You can choose specific rows or all rows. So I will choose all rows because I made changes to all the rows in my import. And click Next. Confirm that you want to update the rows to Salesforce. So I'll choose the button Update 10 rows to Salesforce. And this action cannot be undone. So make double sure that you're ready to update these records in Salesforce. And now I've successfully updated these 10 rows in Salesforce, and you can click Done. I think I'll just double check that the Salesforce updates made it. I'm going to grab one of these Salesforce IDs and just make sure that the lead source then and did indeed update to web. And with just a few clicks, I've been able to mass update Salesforce records using the Coefficient app.